Amdi Miyake Mwakalieriye. And I'm Vincent Makori. This is In Focus. Of course, we oh. hope you had a safe and wonderful weekend out there. Starting off now in Guinea, where Guineans are awaiting the results of Sunday's presidential runoff to choose a civilian president. The election is aimed at ending nearly two years of military rule. Uh, VOA West Africa correspondent Scott Stearns has our story. 19 weeks after they started this presidential election, voters in Guinea finally returned to the polls for a second round vote that's meant to determine the country's first truly democratically elected leader. It's a contest between former Prime Minister Selo Jalo and longtime opposition leader Alpha Conde. They're members of the country's two largest ethnic groups, and the vote is expected to break down largely along those ethnic lines. Violence between Jalo and Conde supporters delayed this vote several times, despite calls from both candidates to stop the fighting and focus on finishing this election. Security services restored order in the capital Conakry and were on patrol election day. As voters await results, Human Rights Watch says security units should act with discipline, neutrality and the minimum use of force. Karim Dufka is the West Africa director for Human Rights Watch. The tension in Guinea is extremely high. There's a great deal of ethnic and political tension that has risen particularly in the last two or three weeks. Now, what we're calling on is for the security forces to remain neutral and disciplined and abide by um, regulations that call on them to use minimum use of force. Uh, because we think the possibility for violence from one party or the other is quite high. As Guinea moves to complete a transition to civilian rule, nearly two years after soldiers took power, Dufka says security forces must help lead the way. The role of the security forces is to protect the population and in this case the electorate as they cast their votes. Um, Guinea has for f over 50 years been ruled by authoritarian and abusive governments um, and this uh, a very important and historical election signals a transition from um, those previously authoritative uh, rule into a, um, a democratic and, and civilian one. So it's very, very important that security forces uh, maintain discipline and accompany Guineans in this very important transition. Sunday's vote was relatively calm with no major incidents reported. So security officials say the next risk of violence will be the announcement of results from this vote later this week. In a joint statement, the U.S. and French governments say everyone in Guinea should put national interests ahead of personal, ethnic or political considerations so as to prevent further violence. Scott Stearns, VOA News, Dakar.